Welcome back everybody, we are lads you're back with another helpful tutorial to help you get the most out of your Oculus Quest 2. Now if you've clicked on this video, the likeliness is you already know what Cody is, but for those of you who don't, Cody is an open source media player that offers the user thousands of add-ons 100% free of charge. The best thing is it can run on pretty much any device from a PC to an Amazon Fire Stick. And as the Oculus Quest 2 runs on the Android operating system, it makes sense that the Oculus Quest will be able to take advantage of this incredible media player. Now this will work for Kodi 19, 18.9 and every other version that's available on Android. Just bear in mind that if you are using an alpha or beta build, you may experience some problems. But that's what we're going to do today lads. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Oculus Quest 2 into the ultimate media center using Kodi. So lads, first of all, just a reminder that I have a giveaway on at the moment where you could be in with a chance to win an Oculus Quest 2. Click the card above to find out how you could win or wait until the end of the video where I will leave a link in the end screen. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button for more great Oculus Quest 2 content. So guys, do you find yourself needing to protect your eyes from the harmful blue light that emits from much of our beloved electronics? If so, I would visit myoculite.com where you can get a discount on a fantastic pair of anti-blue light glasses available with free shipping. Now I'm going to leave a link down in the description below lads. Be sure to check them out, I would appreciate it. Anyway lads, let's get into it. So first, what you're going to need to do is set up your quest for side loading. All the links are in the description for this. If you already know how to sideload, you can skip this part. If not, here's how you get your quest prepared for sideloading. So first, what you need to do is go down to the description and copy the link to the Oculus Creator dashboard. You need to sign into your account you used and you need to register yourself as a developer. What you need to do then is enable developer mode on your Quest 2. You can do this by going to the Oculus app on the phone that's connected to your device, click more settings and enable developer mode. Next up, we're going to install SideQuest onto the PC. Go down in the description, copy the link and install on your PC. Next of all, plug your Oculus Quest 2 into your PC with any USB 2.0 cable. You'll then see a message asking you if you want to allow USB debugging. Click allow always and continue. And if you open SideQuest, in the top left hand corner you should see a green circle. This means that your quest is now ready for side loading. So once you've set up side loading, you'll need to visit the link in the description. This will take you to a site where you can download the APK file for Kodi. Bear in mind that any version of Kodi will work, including Kodi 19. However, Kodi 19 is still in beta, so it may not work as expected when trying to install add-ons. So I would recommend downloading 18.9 until 19 comes out of beta phase. So select your version of Kodi, click on see available APKs and click the one you want to download. Once you have downloaded the file, with the quest plugged in, open your side quest and drag the APK file to the top left corner of side quest. That will initiate an install of Kodi on your machine. And once that is complete, it means Kodi is installed successfully. So lads, even though Kodi is installed, Kodi itself does not host any content. There is a kind of app store built in what you'll need to do is launch Kodi from the unknown sources tab of the Oculus Quest library and you want to click on add-ons and then click this little box at the top. You then want to click on install from repository and then Kodi add-on repository. You then have a choice of the kind of applications you are looking for. If you click on any of the options, you will be given a full list of installable applications. You can install any of the apps with a few simple clicks and it will be up and ready to go in seconds. The only real exceptions are game emulators. There are a few guides out there on how to get it working within Kodi if you wanted them, so you can do a search for that if you want. But Kodi can also be used to launch apps you already have on your device. 
and you don't have to use the built-in repository to get the applications. Kodi can actually install apps from many different sources if you know how. Now this can be anything from news channels to sporting events and huge libraries of free movies. Now, at this point, I have to say that I do not condone watching copyrighted material in any form. With that being said, there are some links below that I will share with you that will give you the best Kodi add-ons to use, and they will be fully available to use on your Oculus Quest 2. So take a look at that link. I have also added a guide on how to use emulators to play retro games. So if that's your thing, then take a look there too. But seriously, lads, this is a very powerful application with so many tools and add-ons that it's going to make the Oculus Quest 2 better than it already is. Now, if you do get stuck with any aspect of installing anything, there are plenty of guides online. The amount of apps you can get is absolutely incredible. I would take your time to look at the ones that are suitable for yourselves. And there's a lot of ones that can be added through, let's say, unknown sources. But that's it, lads. That's how you could turn your Oculus Quest 2 into the ultimate media center using Kodi 19 and 18.9. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.